It's very encouraging to hear that the Irish presidency wants to focus on the digital agenda and the confidence in the single market. However, the rumors are reaching citizens from the Council and the ongoing political debates in this House um, that data protection in the European Union might end up severely harmed this spring. This causes much and deep concern. Uh, it risks damaging consumer trust in companies and authorities and the citizen trust in the rule of law and our capacity to protect their fundamental rights. Uh, Ireland has proposed in Council that those who violate such trust should not be given sanctions and the uh, legitimate interest exception in the directive from 1995 has been interpreted on Ireland as causing our rights to privacy and interaction and communication and access to communication to be less valuable than an internet service provider's business relations. In this committee, many of the proposed amendments to the regulation leave citizens with no rights or means of information autonomy at all. And while it is encouraging that um, the uh, Irish presidency wants to focus on smart grids, actually some of the amendments that are tabled in this committee are uh, instigated by an American government-backed company in the smart grid area that applies a very data protection unfriendly method of collecting personal information. While we know that we have European SMEs that are able to do smart meter and smart grids in a privacy friendly way as has been presented to this committee in a hearing specially designated to this. So it would be very interesting to hear more about your perspective on those issues and how you envisage working towards a solution for data protection in the European Union that is friendly to our domestic companies in the European Union and to our citizens and the trust that our voters have placed in us to uphold their fundamental rights. Thank you. Ms. Andersatter, who I understand is a fan of my country Gaelic football team, uh, unfortunately we won't be in Croke Park for the final until after the Irish presidency, but if you want to make contact with me after the presidency, I'd be delighted uh, to arrange uh, for your attendance. And of course, uh, Mr. Kelly is a former president of the GAA, so he also will be able to get tickets which are much prized in autumn. I understand your concern about the data protection issues. Um, they're not primarily my responsibility. They are mainly the uh, responsibility of um, the Justice and Home Affairs uh, um, Committee and my colleague, uh, the Minister for Justice. Um, but I am aware of the European Parliament resolution on this uh, last year, uh, the significance of uh, privacy and data protection in the context of developing the digital single market. And, you know, um, if citizens and if businesses are to have confidence in optimizing the use of e-commerce, uh, then the issues you, relate, you, you raise with regard to privacy uh, and uh, data protection are absolutely central. And uh, even though, as I say, it is not centrally uh, my responsibility, uh, I have spoken to and will talk to my colleague, the Minister for Justice, uh, who is directly uh, dealing with this issue.